The big breaking news tonight, California voters have rejected the recall effort against Governor Gavin Newsom, meaning the governor will stay in office. And here are the latest numbers from the Associated Press. Voters were asked two questions on the ballot. The first, do you want to recall Governor Newsom? Right now, 66% of voters are saying no, with 62% of precincts reporting. That is enough to call this race tonight. But still, look at this. Long lines at voting centers across the state. This is video in LA when polls closed at 8 o'clock. Voters were waiting for hours to have their voices heard. And take a look. The line to vote at Citrus Heights City Hall wrapped around the building. This time-lapse video was taken around an hour before clo polls closed. Officials say as long as you were in line by 8 o'clock, you were allowed to vote. Now we have live team coverage tonight as more results are coming in. ABC 10's Andy Judson is live at the Sac County Registrar of Voters, where ballots are still being counted, and ABC 10's Van 2 is in Placer County, where recall candidate Kevin Kiley gathered with supporters tonight. ABC 10's Brandon Riddiman has a look at what is different in this recall, but we start with ABC 10 political reporter Morgan Reiner live outside the state capitol after the governor thanked voters tonight. Chris and Madison, voters overwhelmingly voted no to keep Governor Gavin Newsom in office. But tonight, Newsom said that voters actually voted yes on a lot of different issues. They voted yes on the vaccine. They voted yes on women's rights. They voted yes on mandates. You name it, he said all of those were on the ballot. Now, he alluded to conservative talk show host Larry Elder at some points throughout the speech, but even though that man has been the target of his attacks over the last month, Newsom did not actually mention Larry Elder's name once in his speech tonight. The recall is over and Governor Gavin Newsom said it's time Good to evening. get back to humanity. Yes, uh, I think we owe our kids a deeper sense of respect and all of us as adult responsibility to, to, to disregard this false separateness. And to anyone casting doubt on the legitimacy of the election. The former president put out saying this election was rigged. You know, democracy is not a football. You don't throw it around. It's more like a, I don't know, antique vase. Newsom said it's time to defeat Trumpism. The big lie, the January 6th insurrection, all the voting suppression efforts that are happening all across this country. Newsom has called conservative talk show host Larry Elder the closest thing he's seen to Trump. We said yes to women's fundamental constitutional right to decide for herself what she does with her body. But purposely did not mention his name once in tonight's acceptance speech. I just want to say this. Tonight I'm humbled, grateful, but resolved. Newsom ready to move on, thanking the overwhelming support he received. He wouldn't take any questions from the press. He was in and then out. He didn't host any big watch party. Newsom's campaign has said this wasn't like a normal election. It was simply a recall. If for a normal election, he would have done that. He would have had the big celebration. So what comes next? Well, we can expect a lot of discussion around reforming the recall process, right? I told you a few days ago when I spoke to the campaign that they believe one of the reasons why we ended up here today is because of how easy this process is. They said it's so easy a ham sandwich could qualify. And we know from recent Berkeley polls that while the majority of Californians approve of the idea of a recall, they also believe it should be reformed. Back to you, Chris and Madison. And our lead reporter, Morgan Reiner, outside the Democratic headquarters tonight. Morgan, thank you. Conservative talk show host Larry Elder was the leading Republican in the race. He spoke in Southern California tonight, telling his supporters the fight continues. I can't think of anything that this man has done in the last two years that success he deserves another day in office. However, we recognize that we lost the battle, but we are certainly going to win the war. Elder did ask his supporters to, quote, be gracious in defeat tonight. And Republican candidate and businessman John Cox, Newsom's opponent in the 2018 governor's race, says every person who voted to recall Governor Newsom has sent a message to Sacramento that the state needs fixing. What the Republican Party needs to do is focus 
on the quality of life issues that I've talked about in this race. Uh, making sure that we can build housing at an affordable price, making sure that we fix homelessness by getting people treated, making sure that we have enough water and electricity. In a Facebook post tonight, Cox said this election has put career politicians and insiders on notice. Meanwhile, the unofficial numbers place Kevin Falconer in third right now. The former San Diego mayor thanked supporters tonight and suggested Governor Gavin Newsom could have been ousted if the focus was on his policies. This recall showed that if you keep the focus on Gavin Newsom, he can be beat. But what we clearly saw in this election, that the focus of this election turned into national politics and personalities. Kevin Falconer says he plans to continue to fight for California. Now there were 46 recall candidates and a strong critic of Governor Newsom. Assemblymember Kevin Kiley was one of them. ABC 10's Van Tu has been outside his campaign event speaking to voters and the candidate himself. Van is live in Auburn tonight. Yeah, I'm outside of the Placer County Elections Office, and Placer County has been traditionally a Republican stronghold in deep blue California. Now, election turnout in Placer County was roughly 38% as of an hour ago, according to the Secretary of State, and that number will be growing as more ba ballots are counted. Now, I did catch up earlier this evening uh, with uh, with candidate Kevin Kiley outside of a watch party, and he is, of course, the assembly member of District 6. And when those projections from ABC News and other outlets began rolling in less than an hour after those polls closed at 8 o'clock, there really was not that sense of defeat among the recall supporters I spoke to. Now, I heard echoes of uh, unfounded claims that the election is rigged, but I also heard things like, hey, my vote hasn't been counted yet, so it is way too early to make this call. Now, I also spoke to Kylie, a fierce critic of the governor and an arduous supporter order of the recall who even received personal backing from Orrin Heatley, the person who really launched this entire effort. Now, I asked Kylie, Kylie as well if he would accept the results, and he didn't give a yes or no answer, but reiterated that these projections are not official, and by law, the count is still on. It's very standard in any election, any part of the country, uh, for all sides in an election to, you know, retain all options on the table uh, until the certification of the vote. Now, Kelly telling me no matter what the official certification ends up being by that October 22nd deadline, that this recall effort was, quote, the greatest citizens movement in California history to put the state back on track, end quote. And for him and his supporters, he says this is just the beginning and not the end. Our Van 2 reporting live for us tonight in Placer County. And the Sacramento County Registrar of Voters Office, very busy tonight. This is a live look inside as officials continue to count the vote. ABC 10's Andy Judson is joining us with a closer look at just how busy they are, Andy. Yeah, Madison, election workers are still here and they're still hard at work. Take a look behind me. This is where the ballots from secure drop boxes across Sacramento County are still coming in. From here, they start the lengthy process of being tabulated, which in other terms is how your vote is counted and voice is heard, something that is important to voters we spoke with today. I wanted to exercise my right to vote because, I mean, it's, it's, it's important and that's the only way I'm going to be heard is to vote. There's only been two recall elections in California's history and Carol Lee has voted in both. I voted in the other one as well. As well as the general election held less than a year ago. I mean, we just did it, but so what? If you got a, a statement to make, come and vote. I don't care if they have it next week. I'll be right back again. The quick turnaround from the presidential election was a challenge for election officials. The 70 day turnaround was a quick turnaround. You know, normally we would already be in preparation mode for the June primary, um, which we're still doing concurrently with this election. But a similar sentiment remained from the last election, one of mistrust. We thought that, that November 2020 might be the pinnacle of the questioning of the election process, but really it's only gotten worse since then. We feel confident in our process um, and we welcome the scrutiny, but we want people to understand that our process is the same. Despite this, Californians turned out for the recall election. 
Before polls had even closed, more voters had turned out than in the 2018 election when Governor Newsom was first elected governor. Which is kind of amazing because it's an off year, it's a special election, we didn't know what to expect. The turnaround time was so quick, um, but we've seen really strong early voting numbers. But the election is not over until it's officially certified by the Secretary of State. So we will be processing ballots for quite some time. While the first results were released at 8 p.m. this evening, those are mostly just from voters who returned their ballots early. There's still thousands of ballots that were mailed in as well as voted on today that will continue to be processed and returned. And the official certification date is October 22nd for the Secretary of State. Our Andy Judson live for us as the ballots continue to be counted. Andy, thank you. Oh, keep in mind, this is the second recall in state history. There were some surprising results tonight. And ABC 10's Brandon Riddiman is here now with a closer look at the numbers. Yeah, hey, Chris. So uh, a couple things we've heard tonight. One is a criticism of the fact that the race was called so early. Uh, just taking a look at the result that we have here with almost a two to one no vote, a difference of, you know, north of two and a half million votes there and probably, frankly, not a whole lot more than that outstanding. It's totally responsible to make this call tonight, uh, having watched elections for a really long time. I just don't see any way that the, the pro recall side can overcome this. You've also heard uh, in, in this newscast uh, mention of, oh, hey, you know, this, this recall was turned into sort of national politics. All politics are national. It's a Democrat versus Republican thing rather than just a referendum on the governor, which is, you know, how some would argue the recall was intended. There is some validity to that. Uh, if you just take a look at, at sort of this count right here, that 60-ish to 30-ish uh, result, and we compare it to the last time the governor was on the ballot against a Republican, it looks a lot like that red-blue result. It's striking, really, how close the recall result is to what happened back in 2018. If we take a look here, this is just something really quirky about this election. Because there were no serious Democrats that ran on question two, and the official recommendation from the Democratic Party was to leave question two blank, you can see millions of voters did that. That's the count for question one. That's the count for question two. The difference uh, being almost four million votes. Keep that four million-ish number in mind when I show you the candidates. There's Larry Elder. Almost two million more people than voted for Larry Elder decided to vote in this election and not vote for a candidate at all. That is a route, and it's making the governor's team very happy.